A lot of things could go wrong. Nah, check this out. Goodbye, Charizard. Get that thing off my screen. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel, and welcome to my first VGC Series 7, I guess, laddering session. Not really laddering. So basically, the ladder won't update for a couple of days, and I know for a fact no one wants to watch Series 6 content with all these new uh, Galarian forms out with all these legends back in the metagame. So... We're gonna be we're gonna playing like a pseudo series seven. I'm certain that there are gonna be some people trying out their new Pokemon on the casual battle uh, ladder. So unfortunately, that's gonna be the best place for me to get like a nice little uh, taste of what's to come. So if you guys are excited to see the team, and also this is a rental team, rental code in the description. Uh, I made it myself. Uh, if you guys are excited to see the team, do me a favor, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications because I'll be pumping out these. Uh, I almost said I love armor. Crown Tundra VGC videos uh, for you for the foreseeable future. But yeah, uh, trying to reach 20k. Let's go ahead and get into it. This is a team that I made pretty much like I, the first thing I wanted to do was run Expanding Force, uh, Tapu Lele plus Thievul. If you don't know, I, I've pioneered Thievul in the VGC metagame. That's what I've heard. Uh, it's, it's an excellent support Pokemon. I've written a whole bunch of little things about it and I've used it a lot. I used it to qualify for Players Cup too. Uh, but yeah. Ooh, okay, so we have an interesting team here. This looks like a team that's actually extremely weak to Thievul. I can showcase Thievul immediately on this one. Let me go ahead and lead off with Thievul and my boy Charlene, or my girl Charlene. What's up, Charlene? Uh, <laughs> looks like we can actually see the nicknames here. So, uh, the reason that Thievul Lele is actually an excellent lead here is uh, Choice Scarf Lele benefits from Thievul's Fake Tears, which it's super fast, gets a special defense boost after the Psychic Terrain sets off Psychic Seed and it gets Unburden activated, um, and it's able to spam things like Fake Tears, Snarl, etc. Uh, for really solid damage. I'm also going to bring my Zapdos in the back here for fun because I just really want to use the Zapdos. And we're going to go ahead and bring Jason the Kartana. What can I say? I'm a big fan of Friday the 13th. Jason carries around a machete. Kartana's pretty much a walking blade, so it's a machete. It's a, it's a machete. He's Jason, man. But yeah, I'm so excited for this, man. I'm going to be recording some best of threes, which are going to be exciting, man. I'm, I'm excited to record best of threes with this new content. Like, uh, the, these new Pokemon just add so much to the metagame that I was missing, and I'm just super excited. I can't say it enough. Looks like they got some drip. They got the monocle. They got the armband. Uh, we have matching drip. In my opinion, our drip is on par with theirs. Man, I have not seen Tapu Lele in game yet. This is my first time using the team uh, on cartridge. I've used it on showdown, like I said. I was up all night making this team. Uh, but now we get to spam Snarl and have just a wonderful time. So, if you don't know, my philosophy with beating Lapras, uh, most of the time they're running something along the lines of Weakness Policy, Gigantamax, my policy for beating Lapras is don't touch it. Wait for it to finish do its, doing its little thing. Beat its partners. Just get rid of it later. Um, because we're going to be two-shotting this... This, um, what's it called? This Whimsicott anyways. I'll actually go ahead and just lead off with Psychic into it. I'd like to remove the... Um, I'd like to remove the Focus Sash from it as soon as possible. Just so I can actually, you know, knock it out and deal with its partner later on. Because they're going to be setting up Tailwind here. And I don't want to have to deal with that. Uh, later on in the match, so let's remove the immediate threat. Lapras isn't too immediately threatening unless it gets the weakness policy boost. Let's see. Yep, they do go for the tailwind, but check this out. We got our unburden off, which means we're still going to be faster. We're going to cut that damage output by a bit. Let's lower that. And Lele's got some decent special defense, so I don't doubt we'll be able to take this hit pretty well. As their eject button. Hello? Okay. What am I going to hit with this? Hopefully it's not the Urshifu, because then I'm just stuck. Don't be Urshifu, man. Don't be Urshifu. Don't be one of them, you know? Oh, I can live with that. But I have to be real careful with how I throw out Snarls here. Solid chunk of damage. G-Max Resonance goes off. It's not going to be doing too much. I can't spam Snarl as willy-nilly anymore because this thing does have competitive, uh, which is something I don't want to have to deal with. And Freezing Glare is going to be real scary. Okay. So I'd say, first and foremost, I want to get rid of that. <laughs> I want to get rid of that Articuno so I can actually uh, deal with the partner next to it with, uh, with, 
with a uh, snarl and whatnot. So I'll go ahead and I'll throw off a foul play here. Foul play into psychic might do it, but I mean, my assault vest Cartana can take a hit. I just don't want it to take a Gigantamax hit yet. So I'll go ahead and I'll just go for Psychic. I'll just get some damage off on it. All right, that's actually doing a pretty solid amount. Oh no. Dude, they watched my video. They know what's up. They watched my video. This thing's <laughs> Don't do this to me. Dude, he watched the guide. This man watched the guide. He knows what's up. I put out a, a moveset guide for this thing earlier today. He knows. He knows what's up. All right, we can eat that up. We'll, we'll remove it from the field this next turn. Uh, I'm fairly confident we can with foul play since we are outspeeding it. This thing's only got 95 base speed. I'm assuming they're a bulkier set since I actually outsped them and was able to go for that foul play. I'll send out Jason the Cartana, and I can show you guys some more cool tech with this team. Some more solid tech. Alright, so I believe it's definitely within range of foul play. <laughs> and the reason I'm certain that's in, that it's in range of foul play is because I just gave it the boost it needed to be in range of foul play. Um, let's go ahead and go for the max overgrowth. Just get that immediate uh, threat. Just get that immediate uh, damage boost off on it. And it's not like we need the psychic train anymore. In fact, it's only hurting us at this point. So we're going to go ahead and outspeed that uh, Galarian Articuno. And like I said, I am Assault Vest. I am going to be able to Dynamax. This thing's actually running max special defense. I think I'm like 188 speed, max special defense, 68 HP, something like that. Um, I made it. I, I made the spread. I just don't remember what it was exactly by heart. All I know is that it's able to eat a hit when it's Dynamaxed. There's the Protect. That's perfectly fine. That's perfectly fine. Foul play goes into nothing. But we'll get some solid damage off here. As they go for the Max Geyser. And we eat that up like Rhesus Puffs, man. We eat that up like Rhesus Puffs. Max Overgrowth's going to be doing a solid chunk of damage here. And we already know they're not weakness policy since the weakness policy was on, on was on the Articuno. And dang, that thing's such a threat. That thing's such a threat. I'm so scared of it. It's 100% within range of foul play. And their Tailwind will be running out soon. Alright. Uh, I feel relatively confident here. Just going for the uh, foul play into the Articuno for the KO. I think Max Knuckle will do it, but I, I'd like to play my cards in <laughs> my car. Yeah, I like to play my cards right here. I'll just go ahead and I'll max overgrowth into the uh, into the Lapras to ensure the KO. I don't know. They're behind screens. I'm a Cartana. I understand it's super effective regardless, but I'm always scared, man. I'm always scared. This Cartana has literally zero attack investment, and while you guys might not think that's great, it's actually still perfectly fine. Basically, Cartana in previous formats has been used with as little as no attack investment because it's still hitting like a truck, and what you want to do is just compensate for all the things that it fails at. There's the Sylveon. As they withdraw and probably go into the Whimsicott. Uh, Whimsicott, I, I mean, it's going to take the hit. I'm not sure how well, though. And I'm still faster than everything on the field. So I can start throwing off Snarls. In fact, bro, it might be Howl time. It might be Howl time. Dude, Howl time? I'm feeling it. I think it's Howl time. Because I'm going to be outspeeding, um, I'm going to be outspeeding that Whimsicott, and I can definitely take out this, I can definitely take out this, um, what's it called, Sylveon here with plus one. I think my play is to Howl. And do I max Airstream? Mm, I don't think so. I mean, it'll allow me to outspeed the Whimsicott and under Tailwind, I'll do it. I'll max airstream into the uh, Sylveon and hope that this is enough. I might be throwing the game here. For all I know, I'm throwing the game. There's the Tailwind. But I'm still going to be faster than that thing. Let's go ahead and go for that Howl. Boost our partner's attack stat, as well as our own. Not that it matters too much on the Thievel, though. And I'm hoping that plus one max airstream will do it. 
We take, like, nothing from that, which is great. As they are Throat Spray, which is pretty scary. Max Airstream here. And I'll be able to get two of these off, which is actually super important. Um, oh, wait, no, I'm not. I'm only going to get one off. Because I'm this is my last turn at Dynamax. Oh, I'm so dumb. I should have gone for the Airstream earlier. Okay. And we're not taking hits too well anymore. I mean, I can send in Zapdos. Articuno doesn't want to take a plus one attack, so if I can get a KO here, I'm not in a terrible spot. I'll detect to ensure I take the hit. I think my play here is going to be always to uh, take out that Sylveon. And I think I'm faster now. I think plus one Kartana is faster than plus two Sylveon. Smart Strike will do it. I'm not too scared of the Whimscott. Its damage output is much lower than the uh, than the Sylveon next to it. They added some fire tracks to this game, man. Like I, I'm loving the music we're listening to right now. What I'm concerned about is a Mystical Fire, because plus one Mystical Fire might knock us out in the rain. There's the Moonblast. Tell me I'm fasting the Sylveon. Yes, I am. I'm going to get plus one now. And I am Assault Vest. Like I said earlier, I am Assault Vest, which means I am going to be faster, or I am going to be able to eat a hit from that Articuno, and then probably knock it out with this uh, Smart Strike. Rain stopped, that's actually great for me. Because uh, nothing on this team carries a fire move anyway, so I'm not benefiting from it. And on top of that, I, I just like don't want to have to deal with um, Lapras getting any kind of attack boost. The Articuno, I believe, should always come out here. If it doesn't come out, I'd be very surprised, actually. They're thinking, man. I was concerned that I was going to get, like, an opponent that didn't really know what they were doing, because we are playing casual battles, but I'm excited. Like, this is a good opponent. They're playing really well. It's it's just our matching forms of drip mean that we are, we are equal opponents. Articuno? Ooh, okay. I can live with that. In fact, I might be able to pick up a double KO here. Bro, am I going to get to see Thunderous Kick? I'm going to get to see Thunderous Kick. I'm calling it right now. Let me Smart Strike into that thing. I want to see this Thunderous Kick. I can take a hit, man. He has to double into this Artic He has to double into this uh, Zapdos to knock it out. There's no way that... Um, <laughs> there's no way I get one shot from that... Uh, what's it called? The Whimsicott. There's just no way. Eat it up. Yo, please let me see this animation. I need to see this animation. I need to see this animation. This is what I need in my life. We get the beast boost. The game's pretty much sealed up there. They have to crit to win, I think. They have Blizzard. No! He didn't have to choose. Oh, that's so lame, dude. That's so lame. No. Okay. Um. I mean, I'm faster than that thing, right? I'm faster than that thing. And I think... I have to think here. So how many turns of Tailwind are left? One? If I can eat a hit from the Articuno, I win. Because I just have to take out this uh, this Lapras. But Articuno hits real hard. Articuno is going to hit real hard here. Yeah, this is their last turn of Tailwind. So what I do here is I always go for the Leaf Blade into the Lapras. Because that's how I minimize the damage I take overall, I believe. Because I'm always going to be eating the hit from the Articuno anyways. I just have to survive one from Articuno. Come on, man. You're Assault Vest. You can eat the hit. It's neutral at best. Oh my god. What if he freezes me at Freezing Glare? I'd lose it.
Oh, we win. Okay, cool. That's a win. Let's go ahead and leaf blade here. We made the right call. Knock that thing out. And now we get to knock out this uh, Galarian Articuno with Smart Strike. Because I actually sped, I, I speed crept this thing to outspeed base uh, 100 Pokemon. So uh, there's no way the Articuno outspeeds us now. Phenomenal. Let's go ahead and remove this thing from the field. Get off my screen, man. Good game to my opponent. That was a phenomenal game. They played so well. I was concerned we weren't going to get someone that knew what they were doing, but I could tell from that trainer card they knew what they were doing. Let's get one more. That was that was a solid match. I'm excited. <laughs> Let's continue battling. I want to show off this uh, Zapdos. The whole point of recording this video is to get Zapdos in the thumbnail, man. Ooh, okay, maybe a less experienced opponent, but I do get to see a Garchomp, because, or actually, no. They might know exactly what they're doing. This looks like a scary Sun team. The the Scyther threw me off, but that looks like a scary Sun team. Hmm. I think I have to lead off with, um... I think I have to lead off with Lele Thievil. I really, really, really want to bring my Zapdos in the back, but I know I can't. Oh, that hurts. That hurts me to say. Let me go ahead and bring the, the Dragapult here. I'm bringing Zapdos at some point in this video. Whether it be this match or the next, Zapdos is showing up. He's going to be doing damage. I think my last Pokemon has to be the Dragapult. Or the, the Dragapult in the uh, Kartana. So I'll lock those guys in. Okay. Let's see what they lead off with here. Uh, probably Whimsicott Charizard if I were them. That's the ideal lead though. They don't know it though. They don't know that that's the ideal lead for me. Oh, okay. No, that's even better to be honest. I have to keep it real with you guys. That's even better. You guys want to see me one-shot a Charizard? Bro, once that Charizard's gone, Kartana's going in, and it's winning. Alright, check this out. The bread and butter combo. Let's go ahead and go for this uh, Fake Tears into the Charizard. Go for the Psychic into it as well. We'll outspeed it every time and get massive damage off. Base 130 special attack, modest. We're good. Watch it be Choice Scarf Garchomp and I just lose. <laughs> they just poison jab crit me. You never know. Nah, check this out. Goodbye, Charizard. Get that thing off my screen. If there's no Whimsicott, I think I win. If there's no Whimsicott, I'm, I'm actually in a pretty good spot. In fact, I can foul play that thing. I don't even have to fake tears it. Foul play into Psychic will do it. Or maybe just a straight up foul play will do it. I don't know. <laughs> No Whimsicott? Hey, that's what I want to see. That's what I want to see. Okay. So, uh, I have to play my cards a little bit carefully here. I'll go ahead and I'll go for the Psychic into the uh, Garchomp, but that's only in case. Only in case this foul play doesn't knock out. I just want to see this thing drop to a foul play. It's been a while since the Evil got a KO with foul play. They could also be uh, Focus Sash, which would be scary. I think they would Dynamax their Garchomp here. At least I would. Because I'm, I'm locked into Psychic, clearly. And while it is going to be doing a lot of damage, I haven't revealed Foul Play or anything, so they should feel relatively safe, I think. Let's see it. Is that the Garchomp? Ooh, no, it's the Cinderace, but I'm perfectly fine with that. I'm perfectly fine with that. My Dragapult's gonna go in in a second. Hopefully I can actually just one-shot this uh, Garchomp with Foul Play. So I can uh, deal with that Cinderace with the Psychic. <sighs> okay, not quite, not quite. But the Psychic will do the trick. 
A max airstream is very scary, though. I have to be honest. Max airstream is not something I want to take right now. There it is. So, oh, you live? Hello, you live? Thank you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you, Tapu Lele. What's your last Pokemon? Milotic. Okay. So it looks like Kartana's gonna have to. It's gonna have to wait a bit. It's gonna have to wait a bit. I think my play here is probably to fake tears into that Cinderace. I mean, I can try to Psychic into it, right? Because they should always just double into the... They should always just double into the um, Tepu Lele here. Or, not double, but attack into it again. I'm going to go for the Fake Tears. And I'm hoping that that will allow me to one-shot the <laughs> the Cinderace with my, uh, with my Max Phantasm. There's the Max Knuckle. It looks like they're actually going to be targeting down the... <laughs> it looks like they're gonna be targeting down the Thievel. Maybe not. Maybe they're just trying to get a. Ooh, okay. Okay. Well, guess what? I'm faster than you with my Lele, so this thing's going down. This thing's gonna drop to a Psychic. I guarantee it. You have the you have the Moxie boost to guarantee. Check it. <laughs> that and he's fighting type now. I forgot about that. <laughs> oh, that's great. I love you, Tapu Lele. Okay. Let's go ahead and send in the man, the myth, the legend, Jason. Okay. Uh, and they should just forfeit here. There's, like, no reason not to. Dynamax, Max Overgrowth. And uh, we'll go ahead and just drop a drop a Draco on him. Shout out to Pokium. Drop a Draco on the Milotic. Ooh, as they opt to continue with the match, they don't forfeit. I gotta get the Zapdos in the thumbnail, man. I gotta get the Zapdos in the thumbnail. I wanna click Thunderous Kick. That's my thing. I wanna face a stack attack and click Thunderous Kick. Hit him with that Draco. Solid damage for a Milotic. That thing has massive special defense, so a little under 50% coming off of Timid Life Orb, <laughs> Timid Life Orb Max Special Attack Draco Meteor. That's gonna be that's that's respectable. And the job is done. Dude, Dynamax Kartana's terrifying. He's like a giant kite. This team is honestly so much fun. Alright. We gotta get the Zapdos in the thumbnail. Okay, guys. I'm going to have to call it there. I have not been able to find another person running a Series 7 team. So unfortunately, we only get those two really solid matches. Uh, but they're still very, very fun. Like, I, I had fun with the team. I had fun playing. Uh, but I've only been able to find, like, legendary teams so far. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this little showcase, do me a favor. Leave a like in the video. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on notifications. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.